All right, guys, you'll kind of have to excuse the noise. There's a machine working across the street there, but just wanted to kind of give you an idea of what I did today. Got me a load of gravel spread out. And I just used this little tractor that I got rented there. I, it's fairly level. I got to have a load, another load or two in there, but coming off the road there. And this is the high side over here. That, that road right there, that ditch comes down and it steepens up right there. So this right over here is fairly level going up there. But it looks pretty good. I wanted to show y'all up here. So, there's the barn where I went inside the barn there. This is that old tree that I'm working on up here. That's laid down right there. I'm cutting it up for firewood. And then I come in here, clear it all back in here. There's a barbed wire fence that runs right here. Looks like somebody had up at one time that's still existing. But I got all this in here pretty clean. There's a ditch that runs in here. And I don't know if we'll ever do anything with this, but I'm just cleaning it up just to kind of be able to know what's in here, really. But there's a ditch right in here that runs. There's, that's the mouth of the ditch that goes under the road there. And it runs plumb through the property like a little runoff ditch. Down to that creek back here. But yep, yeah, I got in here and I, I semi made me a another driveway kind of deal there where I just cleared up to the road. But this, this is what I really worked on today. Now, you guys have seen up to this ditch. That's what I cleared out the last time. There's that old pile of junk right there that I gotta get hauled off at some point or another. But yeah, I went in and cleaned up, cleaned up in there some more. And then, ba boom, I cleaned all that out. That's all extra. What hadn't been cleared, y'all hadn't seen video of this yet. But. Oh. There's that little driveway that I just walked through where I come through the the woods up there on the, the all right in that brush there is where that barbed wire fence runs. Plumb up to the barn. Back that way. Just on the other side of it is where I went in and cleared back up uh by the road and I just kinda cleared me a pathway out to here and I could cut right up there to the road so I did and it looks like there's a pretty decent little driveway spot right there maybe but yeah I got in there and cleared all that out and you can see where I still got to get the trees up that I dug out of there but yeah so and I still got you know I still got a little bit ways more to go back in there to get to the property line. But from there, and then right there to tip my fingers, that brush pile up there behind, right behind the barn. So it's a pretty good little piece. Like I said, I still got, 
I still got ways to go back the other way. And uh, I'm gonna I'm a work in here, maybe tomorrow, maybe clean some of this out. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna clear out of there yet. But eventually it'll, it'll all be cleared out. But I'm gonna leave, I think I'm gonna leave this little bunch of trees right here just for some shade right in there. And then this little open spot right there, I'm gonna try to clear it on through. But yeah, that's what I did today. And it's really not that hot right now. It's done cooled down a little bit. But I'm whooped for today. But yeah, I kind of kind of cut me a little old path in here to go into the creek. I wanted one one spot where I could get down to it. Well, there she is, and she's she's running right now. I don't know if you can see it or not. But it's got a little trickle in it. So it ain't dried up yet. But yep. Nice little little creek there. But yep, I got Got some woods back here. Maybe I can run up a deer or two. But yeah, pretty good little piece of property. I'm quite satisfied with it. Get it all cleaned out, everything will be all right. But like I said, this in here, this is all what y'all saw yesterday, or the day before yesterday, whichever day it was. But there's there's the barn right there behind that pile. All that that pile there came was basically somebody been dumping out here at one point in time. But it's all metal and tin and all kind of junk that I dug out from around that barn. This right here looks like it was a uh, old metal storage building. It was right here in this dirt spot. And I just pushed it up right there. I'll get a trailer or something and get it up and take it somewhere. But yeah. But most of this, most of this out here was just grass, real, real tall grass. And that little dude right there, let me tell y'all what. That little machine right there is a hoss. It'll get it. When they tell you on them DR uh, field mowers there, when they say it'll, if it'll push it over, it'll cut it, they mean it. Yep. Yeah. All, most of that was cut with that little field mower. And then, of course, I got that little tractor right there. But, uh, I'm debating and I wanted to ask you guys this if maybe somebody can tell me what kind of tree this is here it uh I got a bunch of them out here and I'm I don't know if they're good trees or bad trees but that's the leaves on them uh but yeah I got quite a few of them out here but I don't I don't have I don't have enough knowledge on the subject to know uh I know they're a booger to try to dig up. I know that. Uh, but yeah, I got them kind of trees out here. They, they, and then I got these kind of trees. I got a few of them that are bigger in size. I was, I left a couple of them for shade trees, but I don't know what kind of tree they are. That's the leaf on them. Uh, but one thing I've got to do, I got to get in here and cut these limbs off the ground, because you know I'm six foot and I cannot handle running into the limbs just walking around a tree. But anyway, that's all I got for today. Y'all have a good one.